playing the two girls was more of a challenge than I thought it was going to be. Process back then in the dark ages was really quite simple. Mostly we used split screen, which involved painting an invisible line down the center of the frame and we couldn't cross the center. They would nail the camera to the floor and they would draw a line and that you stayed on one side of the line if you were one character and on the other side if you were not. There was an absolute law that nobody moved in the vicinity of the camera. I would scoot off that way and go change into the other character. And you shoot the scene twice. So you've got two strips of film. One's got Patty as Patty and one's got Patty as Kathy. And then you split this film down the middle and you roll them up and so they're alongside each other. And if you've done the timing right, everything's coordinated and, and you don't even need to do close-ups. You knew you adore Richard. Of course I do. But Jeff's a whole new way of life. The timing was very important because if the timing was off when they stuck the two pieces of film together, it wouldn't work because one would be shorter than the other. Initially, when they used to do it, they would have the script girl read Patty's lines when she would be playing with herself. There was a young girl who stood in for me. She was my double, and she was delightful and wonderful at her job. But the timing for the split screens was really critical. And so one day, I said, couldn't we just put a speaker there and have, have me record Kathy, and then you play that back to me. So that way she was talking to herself, as she should have been, and it was the proper timing and everything. And they were able to use much more of the split screens. So I just thought I was hot stuff. <laughs> Kathy, when the most divine man who ever lived pops into your life, you don't just sit around, you go. We also used over-the-shoulder shots with a photo double. And we used that a lot, because that would enable us to do maybe four or five shots to complete a scene. Every director who came on the show decided they were gonna to try to shoot the dining room scene differently than the previous directors had done, but there was no other way to do it because you always had to have me at the head and Jean up there somewhere and Patty and Ross, and then down at the other end of the table with her back to the camera would be the girl and they'd be shooting over her shoulder. Every dining room scene was shot that way. The woman at your bridge club wanna buy tickets? That's right. That's a great idea, Mama. Sell as many as you can. All right. Oh, Patty, you don't have 25 tickets to sell. Patty was fascinating to work with, with the two personalities that she could turn on and turn off at any time. It was, it was electric, actually. I learned very fast that there were intricacies to each character that had to be taken care of. She didn't have anything except the, the hairdo. That was all that changed. That and the way she spoke, the, how she used her voice as Kathy, s lighter, softer, slightly higher range, and, and a touch of, of a Scottish or a, a, some kind of brogue, but very faint, very light. There's a new advice to the Lovelorn columnist on our school paper. He gave me some silly advice and I took it. Now George won't even talk to me. And then as Patty, you know, kind of, she loved hot dogs and all of that, and they made her lose control. <laughs> Brooklyn, yeah! They had fun and they had tremendous respect for each other. And I'm not sure I even knew that until we'd been on quite a while. It was something that came quite naturally, and then I, I identified it. Everything that's been done around here has been done by Kathy. I move that this class choose her by unanimous acclamation. <laughs> Kathy was my favorite because she was dignified, she spoke English properly, and Patty was an annoyance to me. <laughs> oh, don't be upset. I, I'm sure there are times when you find me a long-haired drag. I never said that. Let's face it, Patty, we're, we're really very different people. Yeah, but we get along great. And everyone thought, oh, you must love Patty the best. No, I liked the quiet one with the, with the hair that turns under. Do you know what I love about you, Patty? You have both feet firmly planted in the clouds. Well, meeting a boy is better than killing a day at the library. Oh, I didn't exactly kill the day. I met a boy myself. You're putting me on. I forgot how much concentration it took 
to be Kathy. I'd be waiting around for, for them to do a shot, and I'd be kidding around with everybody, as me or closer to Patty. And then I would find we'd go for the take, and I wasn't, the dime had not dropped. So I, I had to have a little more concentration time. Why? Never have much fun at dances. I understand. It must get tiresome seeing Patty with all the boys. Oh, you think so? <laughs> yes, I'm afraid it does. They also love to laugh, the both of them. You think it's easy finding a laugh for one and a laugh for the other? <laughs> <laughs> that should frighten him away. I can't wait till tomorrow night! <laughs> was well aware there was only one of her. I wasn't delusional about any of this sort of thing. But when we would play a scene, she was just completely believable as two separate people. And I had no trouble buying the whole thing. You could get scenes where they were just sitting there together. It took me a while to learn what they were doing, to understand what they were doing. But we eventually got pretty good at it. She's just an extraordinary actress.